Good morning, friends. Wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely We could be gazing at the stars But now it feels just like I wandered off into a room And closed the door behind me I never gave the key to you Even though I wanted to I should be trying something new But now my body's sick I'm tired of So, I hope you're all having a great day today uh, It is Nice and sunny, clear skies here. Got in a nice seven mile run this morning. Uh, it was nice and cool, but not like too cold. It was really good. I don't know about you guys, but I've been watching a lot more YouTube recently. I really enjoy a lot of the content that creators are putting out, and it's a good way to pass the time and sort of see what other creators are doing now. The one problem I've noticed though is there's not enough content from my personal favorite creators because like they're probably uploading on a similar schedule to usual or maybe a little bit different because of the whole situation so the problem that I've run into is that I want to watch a lot of content from my favorite creators but creators only create so much I, I have a demand for content that isn't being fulfilled by my favorites and nothing against them but I've just been consuming more recently. I imagine that some of you might have run into a similar situation where the people that you like to watch aren't creating as much, and so you're looking for some new people. So, I wanted to go through a few of my favorites with you all, and maybe you'll find someone you like. I'll link them all down in the description as well, so you can go check them out after the video. Starting it off, we have Nathaniel Drew. Nathaniel's a very interesting person, and he makes great videos about sort of like mindfulness, productivity, uh, but also just talking about uh, important questions. And watching his videos makes me feel smarter in a way. It's very cognitively stimulating. It gets at some really interesting topics that I don't see a lot of other creators talking about. So uh, I definitely suggest you check him out. He makes some really good, really thought out and well produced videos and you can just feel the quality in it. It's pretty cool, he speaks like a bunch of languages really well <laughs> and he's got some videos about that. But yeah, he's making some great stuff so go check him out. Next up is Matty Hapoya. He, uh, he's more on the photography, filmmaking side of things. That's sort of more his niche and he does uh, stuff like camera reviews but he's also been doing a lot of vlogs recently which I've personally been enjoying way more than his camera reviews. Nothing against the camera reviews, but I have a camera and I'm not really in the market for a new one, so what can you do? But I really do like his vlogs. He's been really killing it with those recently, and it's cool to just see another uh, perspective on that kind of thing. As a person, he seems really nice and is a person that I enjoy watching on YouTube, so I recommend you check him out. So the third on the list is Simone Gertz. I believe I'm saying that right, correct me if I'm not. She uploads a lot less frequently but her videos are very, very fun to watch. She's got a lot already on there that you can check out. Uh, she makes machines that do like anything and everything, and it's very, it's very entertaining. And I think if anyone else was making these videos, it would be very boring. But her and her personality in this context of making these really funny, interesting machines uh, is just so fun to watch and is a real breath of fresh air in a lot of ways. So yeah, definitely go check her out. She is making fantastic videos. So number four I have Iz Harris. She does more sort of lifestyle vlogs, but also a lot of travel content. Not so much right now. And she does little short films about specific topics, uh, usually relating to uh, personal experiences and and she's able to create these these powerful visuals and narratives that go together really well to talk about different subjects. So again, another person that's putting a lot of thought into her work and uh, making some really high quality content. I'm not sure how often she usually uploads, but she's been making a few videos during quarantine that have really been good and I've enjoyed watching. Her husband, Johnny Harris, he does uh, Vox Borders, if you've ever seen it, which is also worth checking out. Because, <laughs> uh, I mean, 
Personally, I love geography and history and geopolitics and all that. That's really entertaining to me. Vox Borders and Johnny Harris's channel is also really good, so you check that out as well. And last but not least, I watch Cody Warner. Uh, he used to do daily vlogs every single day, and that's kind of how I found him uh, was through that. But recently during quarantine, he's been vlogging again. He does sort of family vlogs, but also stuff about filmmaking and that sort of lifestyle. So the way he makes his videos make the everyday quarantine life uh, feel very interesting, and that's something that I strive towards. And that's something that I strive towards, and I'm still working on it. The way I do it is, isn't perfect, but I really do like his style of doing it, and I think he's really effective and definitely worth watching. He did a few daily vlogs at the beginning of the self-isolation period. He's sort of become less frequent as we've gone, but hey, that's okay, and he's still uploading. So I definitely recommend you check Cody Warner out as well. I don't know if you guys have noticed, in the description of all my videos, I put hashtag no small creator. No small creator is a like movement that he started. It, it, it's talking about how like creation itself is such a big concept and a big thing to do that there's no such thing as a small creator, even if you only have a few subscribers or something like that. So it really breaks down that idea of big creators being the ones with lots of followers and subscribers and small creators being the ones with low numbers it's just not the case because creation is itself is such a big thing. So I thought that was really inspiring and his videos are definitely worth checking out. He's super motivational as well. So I hope you guys found someone new that you might enjoy watching. Uh, I'll, again, I'll link them all below so you can watch them at your leisure. So thank you all for watching. I hope you found someone on here that you'll enjoy watching and help you pass the time. Once again, I'm Sam Cody. I make vlogs and shoe reviews. If you're new here, please subscribe. Even if you're not new here, please subscribe. <laughs> Uh, check me out on my other social media. I do photography and lots of other fun stuff over there. Thanks again for watching, and until tomorrow, peace.